सो हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू स्कूल ऑफ स्टॉक मार्केट यूट्यूब चैनल एवरी वन एंड वी आर बैक विद अनादर स्टॉक रिसर्च फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू एंड टूडे द स्टॉक अंडर कंसिडरेशन इज मेघमानी फाइन कैम लिमिटेड एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो लेट मी टेल यू हाउ दिस वीडियो इज प्लान सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू शेयर सम इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द कंपनी अबाउट द कंपनीज प्रोडक्ट एंड वॉट आर द टारगेट मार्केट ऑफ द कंपनी सेकेंडली वी आर गोइंग टू शेयर सम financial figures of the company through the annual report the latest available annual report of the company and finally we are going to show you a short analysis that we have drawn out on the company right so let's start with the video so meghmani fine cam limited it is a part of the amdavad based meghmani group and it was incorporated in september 2007 as a subsidiary of meghmani organic limited but was demerged in april 2021 The company is primarily engaged in manufacturing and selling of chlor alkali and its derivative with forward and backward integration facilities right so this is the first part of their business what they are doing is that they are using the chlor alkali and its process and making the derivatives of it the products so chlor alkali is a process which is used to drive different different chemical components correct so what they are doing they are using that process and deriving some different different chemical components with forward and backward integration so this is the first vertical of their business second part of their business is that they are involved in the trading of agrochemical products right so this is the second part of their business so these are the two different different parts first part which is completely focused on chlor alkali and second is that trading of the agrochemical products so now let's move to the company's website to see more about the company's business and its product and its target market so here first thing they have mentioned that they are the uh, they are well recognized in the global market as one of the leading producers of the chlor alkali and its derivatives right so uh, the thing is that they are not just domestic but they are a global company they are exporting their products outside india also so here you can see they are well recognized in the their hero thing the company the hero thing of the company is chlor alkali and its derivatives so they are globally recognized for that and if we look at the second part which they have mentioned as the trading in the agrochemical products uh what are those product those product are caustic soda caustic potash chlorine hydrogen chloromethanes and hydrogen peroxide right so these are the different agrochemical products uh, of trading they are doing the trading of these agrochemical products and they are the hero thing of the company is chlor alkali and its derivatives and they are the uh, global players in this right and as well as these uh, agrochemical product they have mentioned that mfl is aiming towards servicing domestic as well as export market so the both the market so what they are doing they have two different different vertical of their business which are interrelated yet they have specified them separately and they are targeting global market as well as domestic market with these things right so this is their target market these are their products and these are the thing about the company and so now let's move to the financial figures of the company to see that how they are performing with all these things right so as we move to the balance sheet of the company which is denoted in rupees and lakh you can see here property plant and equipment compared to the march 2021 the property plant and equipment has decreased by almost 4000 lakh rupees right so is this decrease good or bad because they are involved in the manufacturing uh, the decrease in the property plant and equipment is slightly a thing to worry about but as i always say nowadays companies are not looking to invest in having more machineries or more property plant and equipment under their belt but what they are looking to do is that they want more efficient machineries through which they can cut expenses and increase the production right so might be they are also engaged in that thing and apart from that this decrease is not a too much of decrease so we do not have to worry about that right and capital work in progress second thing you can see the capital work in progress has increased hugely so uh, there are two type of companies those who have high capital wip one company those who are projecting growth 
right the companies those who are projecting growth those who are seeing growth in the present and as well as projecting growth in the future those are the company first type of company those who have high capital work in progress and second companies those companies whose products are not getting sold so they are all the, their raw materials and everything is stuck in the capital work in progress and they are having high level of capital working progress which is not going to be used by the company for increasing sales and anything but this is a waste of time right so we will find out that uh, what type of company is this whether this company is a growth projecting company and having high CWIP or this is a company with a bad projection or bad planning and stuck with the high CWIP right so now let's move to the second important part which is inventory levels you can see inventory levels has also increased by almost 10,000 lakh rupees so this means that they are having higher level of finished goods as well as they are having higher level of capital work in progress so for, so far this company is giving a feeling that they are projecting higher level of growth that that's why their capital work in progress is also increased and their inventory level has also increased so now let's move to the uh, statement of profit and loss to see whether this company has seen growth in the revenue and the profit or not so here you can see there is an almost increase of 70,000 lakh rupees in their overall income right here you can see that total income they have seen a growth of almost 70,000 lakh as well as a growth of 70,000 lakh almost in their revenue also right revenue from operations so this means that this company has grown and projecting growth right this company in the present you can see has grown and also projecting growth in the future that's why they are having higher level of capital work in progress as well as higher level of inventories so the this company is the first category company right this company is a first category company they are having higher capital work in progress and inventory because they are projecting growth so this is a good thing right they are following the growth trajectory right this is a really impressive thing about the company they are just not like some company those who are stuck with their inventories or capital work in progress this company is increasing their inventory and capital work in progress because they are experiencing growth and projecting growth right so if we move little downwards and you can see here profit for the year right so if we see profit for the year in this chart you will see 15,000 lakh rupees increase in the profit for the year so again as I mentioned that they are seeing growth that's why they are having higher level of inventories higher level of revenue and higher level of profit for the year and if you see uh, the total comprehensive income for the company again uh, you will witness a good growth here also right a good growth here in the total comprehensive income also uh, for the company almost 15,000 lakh rupees right so this is a growing company definitely that's why they are having higher level of capital work in progress as well as higher level of inventory so now again one of the really important part in a company's growth is cash flow from the operation so if the cash flow from the operation is increasing this means this completes the growth trajectory they are having higher capital work in progress why might be they are uh, projecting growth now they are having high level of inventories because might be they are projecting high level of growth then they are having higher level of revenue which means they are having growth and projecting growth so they are having uh, their high level of capital work in progress and inventory is justified because they are experiencing growth so definitely they are projecting higher growth in the future as well right so now if they are having higher level of cash flow from operation that means that that company is not just selling their product in the credit uh, a person who is doing business in the market understands very well that you can uh, go to any level of sales while you are distributing credit in the market but while you are generating the cash that's the hardest part in the business you can do any level of the business with credit in the market but if you are able to generate cash also from that business matching the level of the revenue or matching the level of the profit you are generating then that business is sound and financially capable why financially capable because the company those who have higher level of cash flow from operations they have cash in hand right so that cash can be used for buying new machinery which can help them achieve higher level of growth in the future as well as and the second thing is that if they see some opportunity in the market they can actually grab that opportunity they can quote for some sort of product or some sort of target given by government or any other company right the company those don't have higher level of cash in their hand how they will quote or achieve any such offer in market right so as we move to the cash flow statement 
here you can see net cash generated from the operating activity which is increased by almost 6000 lakh rupees so it is a fair enough increase which means they are not just doing credit sales but they are also receiving cash from their sales so it is a good sign right uh, really impressive they are following the complete growth trajectory you can see high level of capital work in progress high level of inventories high level of revenue high level of profits high level of cfo so everything is good in this company now as we move to the investing activities you can see how much they have invested in their investing activities they have bought new uh, property plant and equipment you can see here the property plant equipment purchased previous year was around 19000 lakh rupees but this year it was at 45000 lakh rupees which means they have greatly invested in their ppe uh, it is a good thing right having a younger pp modern pp will help you achieve higher level of production with minimum level of expenses or uh, through which you can increase your net profit margin and gross profit margins right and you can see here the last thing in the cash flow statement is that cash flow from the financing activities so net cash used in financing activities is positive right their cash flow from financing activities positive that means that this company is taking money from the market so that it can invest in its business so again this is a good thing right uh, having higher level of financial activities in flow does not necessarily mean that this company is taking more and more debts and it will uh, finally will not be able to pay the debt this company is some company which is experiencing growth higher level of revenue and profit so definitely this is a sort of company who wants to increase their production right they want to increase their production so they can sell more in the market and because they are generating good amount of cash flow from operations also so it is fair enough they will be able to pay uh, their debts timely right so overall if you look at the annual report of the company this company has done good job right and obviously this company's targeted market is not small they are also offering a wide range of product and they are not just offering to one particular market they are targeting the global market so in both aspect uh, that company's business is good and apart from that their annual report is also fair enough i would not say too excellent or excellent but this company's growth or the annual report is fair enough it is a uh, annual report of some company who is growing and projecting growth also correct so now let's move to the short analysis that we have drawn for all of you so that you can better understand the company so industry of the company is chemicals the foreign institutional investor in the company is at 1.02% so definitely foreign institutional investors are interested in this company because this company is performing good in their countries also so they see the business there also as well as in the india so they get interested in this, such companies and they invest right the price to earning of this company is 24.38 so now if you will look at this p and the isolation you might find that this p is high right but if you look this company's pe with the growth of the company or the return of the company or you compare it with the industry pe you might find this pe is justified you can see here return on the equity stands at 42.16% can you believe it 42.16% almost 50% of roe so this pe according to me is justified and if you look at the industry pe which is at 29.86 again this company uh, on that basis is also undervalued right if you compare it to the industry p and having such roe uh, so fairly justified p this company is having right promoter holding stands at 71.18 percent this is again a very important aspect in any company if promoters are holding more shares means promoters are showing more faith in the company's business right so this is a really great percentage of the uh, uh, shares this uh, promoters are holding in this company might might be they'll liquidate in the future these shares so that can liquidity in the market will increase but right now they are having a strong position in the company roc return on the capital employed stands at almost 30 percent so again great roc great roe justified p this company is having right market capital of this company is really small 6162 this company is uh, definitely a small cap company the enterprise value of this company is at 7127 crore rupees so again this company is having enterprise value more than market cap so i think this company is fairly good company right the short analysis also tells us that if you look at the p and roe itself and compare it with the industry p this company has done some fantastic job right promoters holding pledge stands at 
अर्निंग पर शेयर स्टैंड एट सिक्सटी रुपीज पर शेयर एंड डेट टू इक्विटी इज वन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स परसेंट सो दिस कंपनी हैज डन अ फेंटास्टिक जॉब अकॉर्डिंग टू मी इफ यू लुक एट द एनालिस इफ यू लुक एट देर बिजनेस देर बिजनेस इज वेल डाइवर्सिफाइड आई गेस एंड देर एनुअल रिपोर्ट शोज दैट देर फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्ट आर ऑफ अ कंपनी ऑफ अ ग्रोइंग कंपनी एंड देर शॉर्ट एनालिस ऑल्सो से इज दैट दिस कंपनी इज अ फेयर कंपनी इन द मार्केट राइट सो आई होप गाइज यू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द कंपनी वेरी वेल एंड यू विल डू योर ऑन एनालिस ऑल्सो बिफोर इन्वेस्ट so thank you so much for watching this video everyone i hope this video was informative for all of you if you do found it informative please do share the video like the video and do not forget to subscribe to school of stock market we will keep sharing such informative and analysis video for all of you thank you so much for watching see you soon in the next video